SwiftUI's Photo Pickers view provides us with a simple way to import one or more pictures from our user's photo library. Now, to avoid performance hiccups, this data is given to us as a special type called a Photo Pickers item, which we can then load asynchronously into a SwiftUI image view. This whole process takes five steps in total, starting with a new import up here for Import Photos UI alongside import SwiftUI. Second, we've got to make two properties here in our content view, one to store the photo pickers item and one to store the SwiftUI image view. This distinction matters, they are not the same thing. The photo pickers item is effectively a reference to the photo library object somewhere, like a URL, whereas the image is the loaded transferred data from there into our application ready to draw on the screen. And so we want two properties here. We'll say at state, private var, picker item is a photo pickers item, optional because there isn't one by default. There's no selection by default. And then at state, private var, selected image is an image, the loaded data. Again, optional. There isn't one by default. The third step is to add a photo pickers view somewhere in your SwiftUI view hierarchy. This has to have a title to show the user as a button, plus a binding where to store the selection, and then ideally some kind of filter to say what kind of data you want them to load. In our case, we'll use images, which includes live photos, screenshots, regular photos, and more. So I'll say here, there's a VStack with a photos picker inside, title, select a picture, and selection dollar picker item. Now that by itself means I can select anything, including cinematic videos and slow-mo videos. We don't want that here. We want just matching dot images. Give me only images. Now this thing's in the VSAC intentionally, as you'll see in a minute. The fourth step is to watch this picker item for changes. So when it changes, it means the user has chosen a picture from their library to import. Once that's been done, we can call a method on the picker item called load transferable type which transfers the data. It says copy it from the photo library into our SwiftUI code, ready to display on the screen somehow. And then if that succeeds, we can call, uh, we can just display, sorry, our selected image. So down here, add a modifier on change of our uh, picker item. Start a new task, because it's running asynchronously, it takes time to run. Assign to our selected image, the result of calling try await our picker item dot load transferable of type image dot self. Now this thing takes time to run. It takes time to copy the image across, particularly if it's like a, a large panoramic picture. It's a lot of data, right? And so it's using await. Give it time. Go to sleep while that code runs. Of course, it might go wrong. If we hadn't asked for images here, they might have chosen a video, for example, in which case loading a video into image will fail, hence the try part. And now the final step is to show the loaded SwiftUI image somehow on the screen. So I'll say below our photos picker, uh, add our selected image with resizable and scaled to fit like that. Let's press Command R and give it a try. Uh, you'll find your simulator comes with some built-in pictures for you to use. So I'll press select now. There they are. I'll do this nice sort of waterfall. I think they're all Iceland uh, waterfall and boom, it pops in below as expected. Now there are lots of other ways you can use Photo Picker depending on what you need. For example, right now we're saying let's buy into a single Photo Picker's item, but it could be an array. Let them select many pictures rather than one. So I'll say here, let's rename this to be items and make it into an empty photo pickers, photos picker item array, like that. And now our selection has to be picker items because it's plural, like that. The harder part is uh, making sure we handle the data correctly when it comes in. So we can't just watch a single photo picker item anymore. Instead, we want to make this selected image property into an array of images to work with. So I'd say about here, you are actually an array of SwiftUI images as well. So we're gonna load them all into there as we go. 
And then, of course, we can't display one anymore. It's let images uh, like that. We want to do a loop. So I'll say there's a scroll view, and inside there will be a for each of zero to images dot count. Select images dot count. Sorry, dot count. Uh, ID of self with I coming in. And inside there we can say let's show selected images I, making it resizable and scale to fit. So we have many of these things being shown at the same time. And finally, in our on change down here, we want to obviously watch picker items. It's now plural. But we want to, in our task, clear our images array out to remove all the existing images that were loaded, then loop over all the selections and call load transferable type on each one of those. So we'll say first, images, oh, selected images, sorry, <laughs> dot remove all. I remove, please, all. There we go. Boom. And then do a little loop. So we'll do four item in uh, picker items. I'll just delete this code, it's easier. <laughs> uh, did this thing work or not? We'll do if let our loaded image equals try await item dot low transferable type image dot self. If that succeeds, great. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, our images append our loaded image like that. So add them one by one into the array as they get loaded correctly. So uh, with that in place, uh, we can go ahead and uh, try it out. I would recommend for you do so, but making one small change, because if you're gonna let them select many items, I would recommend you add a cap. Don't let them just load 50 pictures because a lot of data being loaded at the same time. Um, add a selection here, da, da, da. After selection, just you want to say uh, there is a max selection count of some number. For example, three or I think five is very common. I think uh, Twitter uses four. Um, anyway, some number there is a good idea. And hopefully now we can press Command R and see multiple pictures coming in. If I fix my little typo. Oops, missing a closing brace there. My mistake. I'll choose select a picture. I'm gonna choose uh, this waterfall and that waterfall and that waterfall. See it grays out, I'll choose the last one because only three are allowed. Uh, I'll press add and they just slide in very smoothly into our data. Very nice. There are two more ways you can customize photo views, starting with the label, this thing here. As with many Swift UI views, you can provide a completely custom label rather than some simple text if you want to. This could be a label view or something completely custom is just down to you. And so here, I'll just remove the text entirely and pass in the label as a custom label, saying uh, select a picture with system image being photo. And now we'll get uh, a slightly nicer picture mode like that. You get a little sort of landscape picture like that. And the last way is to add more work to how you limit the pictures that can be imported. Now we've been using images here across the board because we'll get regular photos, we'll get screenshots, panoramas and more in one thing. You can apply much more advanced filtering here using extra uh, methods called any, all and not. Now these accept an array to work with. For example, we could say, I want to have matching uh, any, of, and I'm going to specify here, dot images. Sounds great. I like images. Thank you for that for crashing. I like images. Great. But then, dot not, dot screenshots. So do not allow screenshots to be chosen here. 